Man, oh man, what a bad week this was. The Bulldogs lose in a very terrible way against Kentucky. Uh, the Falcons lose in overtime against the Giants. They're now 5-5. Five and five. Uh, Bulldogs are now 6-5. and five. Um, Not looking good for either one of these teams. Um, Giants game, what can you say? We lost the... Uh, the toss, and uh, I knew that it was probably done after that because uh, our defense, the uh, Falcons' defense, usually they're not that great. Let's just be honest. And uh, usually the team that wins the toss ends up winning the thing. So they win it by a field goal. Good job, Giants. Uh, now that the Falcons have uh, the Buccaneers at home this week, hopefully uh, we can uh, pull that one off. Uh, everyone knows what kind of season uh, Tampa Bay's had, but – Nothing's really a uh, a lock win in the NFL, and uh, Bulldogs. <laughs> what can I say, man? Joe Cox, he's just being Joe Cox again. Um, when when everybody was leaving the stadium with uh, two minutes, eleven seconds, or something like that to go after the uh, dogs fumbled it again near the end zone, uh, the announcer's like, "Why is everyone leaving with all these timeouts and time left?" He should have known why the dogs are leaving. Wait, no, he obviously hasn't seen this whole season, this 2009 season that George has been doing. Nothing but disappointment, turnovers, bad ball handling. He should have saw it coming. He obviously hasn't watched the team this season, whoever that color uh, commentator was. But, uh, yeah, Joe Cox is just being Joe Cox, you know. I mean... Uh, now, I just hope we at least start Logan Gray or Aaron Murray now. I mean, because I'd rather have a, a, a player out there throwing interceptions like he is, making mistakes like he is, and um, they're rather like a freshman or a next-year starter or something, like Matthew Stafford. Everybody remember uh, how bad his true freshman year was? And uh, Joe Cox is, like, just about on the same level, if you ask me. And he's been there for a half a decade in the Georgia program. But it's fun. It's about time that he had his senior day. He blew it. He bl he pretty much blew the majority of the season. I think it's about time just to sit him down. I mean, Mark Richt has got to stop with this loyalty. I mean, like, I love Mark Richt. He shouldn't go. Willie Martinez should go. But we got to stop with this Joe Cox stuff, man. And now we got Georgia Tech, and everyone knows how sharp they are. Uh, are already uh, our de <laughs> I don't think Georgia Tech even needs to use the triple option against our defense because uh, our weakness is at the secondary, not the D line. Because it's just we're making Garcia from South Carolina. Uh, what's that guy's name? Crompton from Tennessee. I don't even know these guys' names right off the bat. No offense. Because uh, they're really not that great, but they look like all-stars against our defense this year. and They could use Nesbitt on us like he's Don Elway or some shit. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm, pretty, uh, I'm pretty optimistic about the uh, Tampa Bay game. But Georgia Tech, pretty pessimistic. But, you know, we could see what happens. But uh, infamous Bane, man, I'm out.